Oh, it's certainly foggy out. If you do have a flight out this morning, there may be some delays at the airport because of that fog and that reduced visibility at 65 degrees right now. Our dew points are at 64. So when those two numbers meet or get awfully close like they are, that's when we start to notice the cloudy, hazy and foggy skies really crop up. The winds right now are calm overall, too, so not a lot to stir that fog on out of the way. And again, the dew points are the measure of moisture in the air. The higher the number, the more uncomfortable to sticky it feels. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. But I can assure you, when it gets better in due time, actually in quick time too, tonight and early tomorrow morning, it will feel much more refreshing. So this time tomorrow morning with dew points in the 50s, you'll certainly want to open up the windows. What will spur that change is a cold front that nears and comes through and it will drop our temperatures a degree or two, but it's not going to get awfully cold into tomorrow. Do me a favor. I know that cell phone is right beside you this morning. Scan the QR code here. This will get you the latest information from the first alert weather team as we are tracking showers today, maybe even a rumble of thunder or two. This is right around three to four in the afternoon for the greater Boston Metro portions of Metro West stretching through Foxborough, by the way, in Norfolk County, all the way down into, yes, even Providence. So if you drive that stretch of I-95 today, just keep in mind the afternoon will be wet. It's not going to be an all day affair for the rainfall. We're really just looking at scattered showers at best, sort of like it's been the past several days. By 10 o'clock tonight, as that front clears, the skies open up and yes, the sky is clear too. 83 degrees is where we're at for a high temperature today. It's at Southwest wind that's bringing us back into the 80s. Yesterday, our high temperatures were only in the low 70s. That felt refreshing. Tomorrow gets even better. Temperatures down to 81 for high temperature. It is a stellar day, no doubt about it. And we continue that into the weekend across the Northeast. Syracuse, New York at 86 on Saturday, near 90 on Sunday. Here at home, we are also in the low 80s to mid 80s for highs on Saturday and Sunday with plenty of sunshine on the way. Next Monday and Tuesday, though, that heat that's been trapped out across portions of the four corners in the western U.S. It does spread towards the northeast, so we'll start to see those sweltering days return just as the humidity does. And on Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have to watch more rainfall chances. But that's a very nice stretch of weather on the way, pretty much starting tonight and through much of the weekend.